Okay, this is the new Edge Router 4 from Ubiquity. We want to use this on the, our lab that we're going to put together um, as we slowly migrate our network from a basic network into an enterprise. Now I'm going to open it to show you what's inside this box. I like the Ubiquity's new packaging where it's easy, you just rip the strip open and you open it up, there everything is. You got the power cable and then the router. What I like about this router is it's very nicely built, strong, and simple. It's got an SFP port and then three Ethernet and a console port, which is great for if you want to console in. The power port is also an AC, which is makes it really great for your rack. You can also mount it to the wall with the. Now we're going to use an ER RM kit to mount our edge router into our. Everyone who's doing their own lab, home lab, really achieved to make them look really nice. So these uh, smaller mount rack mount these smaller mounts make it really nice looking. There we go. That slides as well as we just screw it onto the end. <laughs> okay, now I got my router installed into our rack. Uh, I'm now going to hook our, my computer up to port zero. Now we're going to plug in ETH1, our WAN internet. Okay, we're going to start setting up our Edge Router 4. Uh, first, we're going to, have to log in as our default username and password of UBNT and UBNT. Now, we can go through the basic router wizard, but we're going to do it right from scratch from the beginning. We're going to use ETH0 port as our network. We're going to just leave it there and we're going to set ETH01 as our WAN port. So the first thing we need to do is make sure our IP is configured and we got ETH01. I'm going to do a capital just so that we can say hey it's, it's programmed ETH0 and everything else looks good. Let's come over here and configure and call this ETH1. We'll just, you know, this one we're not going to use uh, DHCP, we're going to use uh, manual uh, for our lab. 2.0.0.2 So we're going to give that IP address for Oh, we got to do a, a subnet on the back 24 Save there And then our next thing Is to set up our routing We need to add a default route and We're going to do 0.0.0.0 .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0 slash 0 goes to 2.0.0.1 description and one enabled yes so that will forward all of our traffic to our WAN to our to the internet okay next we need to add our firewall rules we're going to come over here add firewall policy add rules we'll call it ETH one in description it will be when in rules default will be drop save actions edit rule set uh, let's make sure our interface is set right it's one in configuration drop rules and then we're going to add a new rule set we want to add established and related we'll call it ETH one what do we want? Oh, just allow establish slash related so we're going to accept these connections ones that have already been made and then we want to add another rule to drop um, all of our invalid connections so we're going to do just call that one drop invalid save you know actually that's on the bottom hit save rule order everything looks nice we close this rule then we're going to add another rule set and it's going to be called east one local we'll call it wan local rules I also want a default drop. Edit rules. 
our interface will be our ETH1. Same and local communication. So this is your anyone who want, we want to set up remote access to the router, uh, either through shell or the web browser, we can do this. Um, now we're gonna add our rules, same as before. Um, allow established and related. Did I spell that right? Oh no. Related. Click established, click the related, go back to basic, and accept. Save. Now we gotta add another rule. This will be our drop or drop invalid connections. Invalid. Save. Boom, boom, all done. Interface is all set. We are good to go. So we roll. Now we got our firewall set up. So the next thing to do after our firewall is all set up, we need to be able to network translate our inside network to our outside internet. So we're gonna have source net rules. We'll call it ETH uh, one NAT. Outbound interface, each one, because that's the LAN, use masquerade. And that's it. I mean, we can define more stuff, but we don't have to. Now we're all set there. Next, we need to go to services. Add DHCP service. So this is very important. So DHCP, we're just going to call it is zero slash lab. Oh, it doesn't like that name. Is zero lab. Subnet is the 192.168.1.1 slash 24, but you put a zero there instead. It wants the network, not the IP. Starting range, we're going to do 192.168.1.25. End range, 192.168.1.100. Routers 192.168.1.1 and DNS we want to use our router to translate. So we're gonna do 192.168.1.1. Oh, and we don't have a unified controller, we don't have to worry about that. Hit save. Now our DHC free service. Now we need to put in DNS forwarding. So under the DNS tab, we're gonna click here and just do allow E0. That's our LAN port on the router. Hit save. Now we'll be able to listen to um, our traffic. And that's pretty much it. That's all set up except for one little simple thing here. We're going to come down here to the bottom to system. First of all, we're going to change this. We're going to call it um, our ER1, Edge Router 4, ER4. So our ER4 name servers, we're going to also want to add. Um, we are going to add 8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. So these are the addresses when it translates from the other DNS up here, it'll translate through those. Now, and then also with the DHCP, in e names that you use for your computers, you'll be able to easily route by just typing in the names. Um, host name, addresses, and then we hit save here. And then we have one more thing to do before we have this all set up, and that is our users. We're gonna to wanna to create a new admin user. We're gonna just call it admin, full name admin, password admin, confirm admin, why not? Save. And then our ubiquity configured. Let's change the password. Change password to admin, admin. Don't really change it to that, but I'm just setting it for that, for example. Hit save. And then we're gonna action, oh, we'll just delete it. Delete the username. So we get rid of UBNT in here. Did not go in. Delete. Oh, we're logged in right now. So we'll have to log out and then we can log back in and we can delete this user, which you're going to want to. 
and that is it that's your router all set up let's uh let's reboot it under our system restart restart it now yes we're gonna reboot it and then in a second we will connect and update it here all right now we'll log in as admin admin and we can delete this user now our version is 1.10 under ui.com we're going to get support downloads come down here to the bottom beautiful file list and we're going to go to edge max edge router 4 download the latest firmware this is our hotfix Yes, I accept. Download file. Now that file is downloading. Log in as. Now we'll log in as admin. Admin. And now our firmware is updated. Don't share my information. And now we're connected. Now we can come here. We go fast.com. See how fast we're going now. What are we doing? Only 50 megs. Not too bad. All right. And so that's it. That's our basic configuration of our edge router. As part of our long-term project of our lab. Thank you for watching.